I can't find a venture anywhere, Jeff. Sarah Jane lied to us. Well, we just got to know where to look, and it turns out we don't. No, not... All right, then. <laughs> it is Sarah Jane Adventure Day here on CBBC all day. It is, and that was the first ever Sarah Jane Adventure. She was looking fresh She face, really wasn't was. She? And there is loads more still to come. Right. Loads. If we're doing Sarah Jane Adventures all day today, does that mean we don't have time for me and my movie Monday morning? I think it might. But, Jeff, we've put up the sign. Uh, in that case, you better get on with it and make the film. It is me and my movie Monday morning, as true fans are now calling it. Mm. I think that probably proves that you are our one and only true fan. Nonsense! Quite. So, what do you want to make our film about this week? I have a great idea, Jeff. It's an adventure set up in the stars. And it's set in the future, but a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And in the stars, there's a kind of war going on. Hmm. A war in the stars, you say? Oh, yes. And our hero is a handsome young man who battles against an evil space villain. But it turns out that the space villain's actually his dad. And this film is called... Star Wars. No, help, my dad's a space villain and all my friends are robots. I think Star Wars is a little more catchy. All right, let's do it then. No, someone's already made Star Wars. Really? Yeah, there's loads of films. Some would say maybe three too many. All right, then. Well, I'm off to enjoy my bank holiday. I'm going no, back no, to bed. No, 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 no. Just because I didn't like your first idea, we've still got to make a film maybe during Sarah Jane Adventures. OK, how about a woman who has a lipstick that's sonic and she uses it to open gates as well as make her lips look pretty? It can be used... Whoa! If you are starting at a new school this week, believe me, it doesn't mean you're going to be attacked by the Slithy. No, it could be lots of other aliens. I mean, Daleks, Cybermen, uh, those weird creatures from Planet Klum. Oh, yeah. The list is endless. Mm -hmm. Right, I've bought some props. Props? We haven't even decided what film we're doing yet. Yeah, but either, every film's going to have to have props, Jeff. Oh, Dan, you've just bought a load of cakes, haven't you? I have not. Are you sure? Absolutely. Really? Positive. I'll give you one more chance, Dan. Under that cloth, is there loads and loads of cakes you've bought using the props budget? 100% no, Jeff. Right, let's see them. OK. Ta-da! Cakes! <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So now we have to do yet another film about cakes. It's all right, Jeff, I've thought about this. How about this? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Marzipan. That sounds lovely. And cakey. Yeah, I think someone's done something a bit like it before. Though. All right, no matter, I've got loads. Apple Pie School Musical. Look that, at that picture is so disturbing. She has hands. And actually, I, I don't know how to tell you this, Dan, but I think... It's got cakes in it, Jeff. Yes, I'm sure, but you can't... OK, how about this one? I Cinderella. That's really weird. It is weak, yes, Jeff. It I is hasn't even got a picture of us on it. No. No, look, no, Dan, look, let's just forget this. I want to go back and see if Slithine, the Slithine have taken over the world. Okay, how about Indiana Scones? <gasps> Punk Scontis, Icy Age, Lord of the Ring Donut, <sighs> Star Wars! What's that got to do with cakes? Nothing, I just really want to do Star Wars. Help me, Jeff, you're my only hope. On. Yeah, yeah, okay, look, I know, yes, all right, Sarah Jane. Yeah, I know it was a good mashup, but that's not the point. You said you were going to be here for the whole morning. Well, all right, you can have a quick comfort break, okay, but only two minutes. I'll hold the fort. Yes, I know, I'm a little trooper. I hope that wasn't sarcasm. All right, okay, bye. Hi there, it is me and my movie Monday morning. Um, I don't really know what to tell you. Dan and I haven't come up with an idea for our film yet. He said he was going to tell... Hang on, sorry. Dear Jeff. I know you've always wanted to make a romance for me and my movie, so I've taken your thoughts into consideration. Dan is such a good mate. But, on balance, I'd rather make a film where we get to travel through time and meet lots of evil cakes, get chased by them, and then eat loads of cakes. Love, Dan. I won't be a part of this. P.S. In case you won't be part of this, I've called in an expert to help with the auditions. Love you. What? I am very bad. I am just my. I am back again. Oh, total joy. It's Donut Guy. Donut so you're, Guy? You're going to help with the auditions, are you? For the auditions? Yeah, yeah I, I guess I guess you are an expert in cakes. So go on, what have you got? Go on, what do we got? Do we do it now? Yes, now. Now? now. We do it now? Yes, now. Okay, first up is the Victoria Sponge. Hello. She is so beautiful. Maybe we hear her sing. Sing for a sponge. Why are you not sing? Sing, you stupid sing! I broke the Victoria sponge, but it was a wig. Um, 
Dan, a, a donut guy. Yeah. Um, do you want to get the cream off your knuckles? Or, uh, Dan, no, <laughs> you can't treat all disease like that. If you want them to be in our film, you've got to treat them with respect. Okay, respect. I'm I don't know. Okay. Oh, look at this one. She is so beautiful, so lovely, so tasty. Oh, no, don't, donut guy, what are you doing? Realising I cannot eat with this moustache. Turns out, look, look, what are you doing? You can't eat them if they're going to be in the But film. I was hungry. Right, great. So we're no closer to casting our film about evil cakes in the future. I, I, maybe we should just watch Sarah Jane Adventures and adjust our beards and get some thoughts on you time travel. You want the donut? No, really, I'm good. Victoria really. Spock? Did you see that, Dan? They turned Maria's dad into stone. I mean, Dan? Dan? What? Hush now, Tinkerbell. I'm very busy. What are you doing? Editing. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said it in the Me and My Movie pack, which some of the Blue Peter people made, that you can edit. Now, that means that I get all the good bits of film and cut out all the bits that went wrong, all the mistakes. So what are you doing? Well, in our film, there was a lot of you, thus a lot of mistakes, so I cut them all out. This is you here. Are you... Are you cutting me out of the film? No, I'm just tweaking you, Jeff, to make you look better. You need all the help you can ah, get. Two things. One, don't cut me out of the film. Two, no one edits like this anymore. Granddad! I mean, you've got to do it all on the computer now. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I was talking more like this uh, Sarah Jane trailer maker thing we've got on the computer here, right? What you can do is absolutely brilliant. You, you, you start editing, you get all the bits of film over from this side here, put them down the bottom like that. You can make them shorter like this or longer like this. It's the same one, I can just mess around. And music and sound effects like the explosion. Pow, isn't that brilliant, Dan? Now that is editing, isn't... Ta-da! So, by editing, you mean you're making yourself into a chuckle brother using our film. I am the video man, pleased to meet you. I think I'd probably rather hang out with Sarah Jane. I mean, yes, yeah, sure, she gets sucked through time portals and I'll probably get turned into stone, but at least I wouldn't have to put up with this. I made your mistakes into a wig, Jeff. <laughs>